There's a little dog that needs help. His leg is hurt. These words sounded urgent, even in the middle of my deep sleep, spoken by my neighbor in a hurried call. Without thinking twice, I got dressed as quickly as possible and went to the indicated place, an area near the neighborhood garbage collection point, where the little dog was abandoned. When I arrived, the scene I found was heartbreaking. There, amidst the garbage, a little dog, mistreated by life and abandonment, was motionless, hidden behind some bags and a metal trash can. As soon as he saw me, his eyes showed a mixture of surprise and relief. He approached me, wagging his tail timidly, but he couldn't hide his desperation from hunger. All it took was a small movement for him to come towards me, trying to keep up with me. However, I noticed that there was something wrong with one of his paws. He was visibly limping, and the slightest effort would make him fall. His swollen paw made it difficult for him to move quickly, but he seemed determined to stay close to me, ignoring the pain. I looked around, trying to identify any sign of a mother or owner nearby, but there was nothing, just silence and that small, injured body. My mind filled with questions. What could have happened to him? Had he gotten lost? Or worse? Had he been abandoned in such a desolate place with no resources? Given so many doubts and the visible suffering, I knew the next step was to take him to the vet. I picked him up and he snuggled against my chest, almost as if he knew he was finally safe. During the journey, I could barely contain my worry. He was so small, barely three months old, and he was already going through so much. At the vet, the anguish gave way to immediate relief when we learned that his paw, although swollen, was not broken. The tests revealed a minor injury, probably due to some impact, but that could be resolved with the appropriate treatment. The doctors acted quickly. He was given injections to relieve pain and reduce inflammation, and the countless ticks scattered all over his body were carefully removed. I had never seen so many parasites on such a small animal, as large as beans, reinforcing how neglected he had been. As the little warrior was being cared for, one thing was certain, he had already found the support he needed in me. Every time I walked away, he followed me with watchful eyes, and when I approached, he wagged his tail with a joy that only dogs can express. This bond grew surprisingly quickly. I named him Ruma, a name that matched the spirit of resilience and affection he exuded. As the days went by, I saw how determined he was to recover and to live. His swollen paw improved with each new visit, and the swelling gradually subsided. Ruma began to gain confidence, exploring everything with a curiosity typical of puppies. And when he realized that he could trust me, the love solidified into an unbreakable bond. A month has passed, and the fragile puppy I found among the garbage bags has become a little adventurer. With his leg restored, he ran across the lawn as if he were rediscovering the world. The first time I saw him run towards me, with that sparkle of joy in his eyes, I felt an indescribable happiness. It was as if the scene were a dream. Ruma was truly happy, free, living each moment with the intensity that only animals know. Today, a year later, it is impossible to look at Ruma without feeling emotional. The fragile little puppy, haunted by abandonment, has grown into a strong, healthy dog with a vibrant spirit. He has become my inseparable companion, a friend who trusts me completely and every day teaches me the value of unconditional love. Every day with Ruma is a reminder of how much life can change with a little love and care. With him by my side, I feel like my life has changed forever. And when I see that wagging tail, those happy eyes, and that unwavering loyalty, I know that the happiness we now share will last forever. Ruma has shown me what true love is and the power of compassion. And this journey of ours is proof that with love and patience, even the most broken hearts can be healed and find the happiness they deserve.